if I'm hungry, what do I need to do? Eat. Okay. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Right? And the body tells you that it's hungry and that you should get food in it, right? And we learn this very early on, right? Okay, that's all I want to teach today. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's, it. It's, it's, that's the whole game. Because if I have some mental or physical or emotional problem, what do I need to do? Eat. I need to eat. I need to consume. I need to add uh, energy. Energy. The whole thing is an energetic game. So if I have any problematic condition, if I add energy, I will not be in that same condition, right? So if you're hungry and you put any food in your body, you're gonna feel stronger. Some food better than others. Some you digest better than others. But the fact is, you just gotta get something in you. And it's exactly the same way for any kind of feeling, any kind of thought, any kind of physical condition, emotional condition, environmental condition, requires energy that then I can change it. This is not complicated, is it? And all this is God business and Jesus Christ. Uh, it's just about putting energy in the system. I had somebody come over to see me and I was just trying to explain it to her clearly. I don't know that much, but I do know if I'm hungry, I'm supposed to eat. And we were out in the desert with the Joshua trees and the yucca, you know. I, was, I went to school, I learned like flowers, trees. I mean, I didn't think you needed to know much more than that, that was a general category. And food. So in NG, I do it through breath, mantra, posture. Okay, so here's a scenario. The lady is married and, and relatively intelligent. The husband is coming home and anger, frustration, and he wants to basically get, uh, get her angry and get her reacting. What's he looking for? Energy. No, 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 let's think about it. He's looking for energy. He needs a hit. And he thinks, he, he's, in a, he's in a frustrated, uh, angry condition because of his job, and how do you create frustration and anger? You imagine something that's not happening and get angry that it didn't happen. Because I'm, I was originally frustrated that this wall wasn't blue. Now I'm angry about it. <laughs> and then if I stay with that a little longer, I might as well just get depressed. But that's totally the deal. Hi Jimmy, why don't you just accept it's not a blue wall? I can do that? Yeah, just as it's not a blue wall, deal with it. Oh, well that's, what's that require? That thought requires energy. That thought requires more energy than the other thought. Now once I get the frustrated, the anger, depression creates certain feelings in the body. Okay, so I have to add energy so I can say essentially subscribe to the thought that just deal with what's happened. So the guy comes home at night and he gets angry and, and tries to get a reaction out of her. What's he looking for? Like likes like. He's frustrated, he's angry, so if I can get her frustrated and angry, I can essentially get a hit and I'll somehow feel better, goes the internal subconscious twisted logic, that if I can get her to get angry at me, that'll feed my anger and somehow that'll neutralize. Who also made this mistake, by the way? U.S. and the U.S.S.R., right? We're gonna build enough nuclear missiles so that if you blink and I blink and... And what'd that cause? Alien invasion, that's what it caused. So the aliens came down on the planet and they walked around the Pentagon and then the Kremlin trying to keep the humans from blowing them everybody up. Why? Because then it's gonna put debris in the atmosphere that's gonna mess up their planet. Do you know this? It's, it's documented. I saw it on the internet. It's true. That's a true story. But back to our more mundane household thing. So I said, he just needs a hit. Because it's a drug culture, everyone understands that. He needs a hit, but he doesn't need an anger hit. He needs an energy hit. So this is why they, they teach bullfighting, right? 
So you've got to have enough energy to avoid the incoming and counteract with something that he wants more. There was that lady, that was one of my better lines, I thought, who was walking around here, working here a few years ago. And uh, she comes to see me and she's depressed. I said, why? I don't know. I said, don't you do the Kundalini? You take free classes and you're there all day long? You know? I said, well, what's up with that? I said, that's like walking around eating a donut out of your pocket when you're, you know, when you're working a gourmet restaurant and you have free food. I said, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Keep eating that, stop eating that crap and start enjoying the, 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 what's available. Right? It's energy. All I got to do is I got to add a higher quality energy. What's a higher quality energy? First order business. If I think of my, I have an electromagnetic field, that's my energy field, right? If my energy field's strong, you want to come in and be frustrated and angry, I'm not going to get into it because I'm just going to go deal with it. It's, it's not blue, okay? Right? But if I'm a weak energy field, I get sucked into it and I'll go, yeah, it is blue. It's a bonus. Right? So I have energy. So my, my aura is very important. This is why we do this and so forth. If I think of my breath, not consciously breathe, just think of my breath. You know what happens to my aura? If I think of my breath, think about that. So if I consciously breathe, the aura gets even bigger. That's called energy. That's what I'm looking for. If I add satnam to it, You're gonna have trouble being depressed and buying into other people's anger. So I said, you, the guy has incoming frustration and anger. It should be like a fan, not a hot guy. It just it cools him down. One breath if you have a practice. Simple.